everybody today we're doing a Ruby on Rails install on a Windows 7 platform I'm doing this mostly because a friend of mine asked me to help them out with this a few days ago and I felt like it was a little harder than it really should be for an install um, and I couldn't find anywhere that really had all the information combined just making an easy step-by-step -step tutorial for people at home who need, who need a little help so I thought I'd make this video to help um, anyone who's interested out so please keep watching and I'll show you the step-by-step -step install I did on my Windows 7 machine. The first thing we should do is open up a browser and go to rubyinstaller.org slash download and let's go ahead and download Ruby Installer version 1.9.3 P0. On the same web page you can go ahead and download the Ruby Installer development kit found towards the bottom of the page. Now that both packages have completed downloading, go ahead and open up the download location and run the Ruby installer executable. The installation window will open up. Go ahead and accept licensing and check these three boxes for the correct configuration. The installation will take a few minutes to complete. Once it's done, click finish. Now let's install your development kit. It should be in the same folder as the installer. This kit will prompt you for an installation location. Let's put it under the C drive under Ruby 193. I'm going to select that folder. Then I'm going to put it in a subfolder called Dev Kit. Go ahead and type that in and then click Extract. Let's now open a DOS command prompt. You can either type in CMD under the Run menu or you can click on Start All Programs. Ruby 193 and there'll be something called start command prompt with Ruby. Within the command line you want to type in cd c colon slash ruby 193 slash dev kit. Now that you're within the dev kit folder type in ruby dk dot rb init. Go ahead and press enter and you should see the following message. In the same DOS window, go ahead and type in rubydk.rb-review. Follow that by typing in rubydk.rb-install. Now let's install the rail gem by using the command in the text above. gem install rails hyphen hyphen install hyphen dependencies hyphen hyphen no hyphen r d o c space hyphen hyphen no hyphen r i now is about a good time to go get a coffee break because this will take a few minutes for all the gems to go be fetched once all the gems have been fetched and installed you should see a listing similar to this within your dos window now i've opened up a new dos command window we're going to go ahead and start our very first rail project first we're going to make a directory called rails app we're going to cd into that directory and then we're going to run the command rails new my underscore app. Once it has finished creating our first rails project, go ahead and cd into my underscore app. And we're going to run the rails server. We're going to type in the command rails server. Within a few seconds, you should see the rails server start up with a web address. Let's go ahead, open up a browser, and go to our web address, http colon slash slash localhost colon port 3000, as seen in the browser window. Now we're going to install an open source IDE for Ruby and Rails known as Rad Rails. It's put out by a company called Aptana. It's the web address is www.aptana.com. And let's go ahead and download that and we're going to run the installer. Within a few seconds, the Rad Rail installer will open up. The only thing to notice in this installation is by default, it will put this product within your personal user profile. If you're the only person using this computer, that is not a problem, but if there are multiple people using this computer, you might want to change this to your program folders. Once it has finished installing, let's go ahead and click Create Project. It will give us a list of options. One of the options is a RAD project. Let's go ahead and click on that, give it a name. 
I'm going to provide a directory path and a project name here. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and click finish and it will create our very first Rails project within this IDE. Notice the console below. If you notice, this is similar to the DOS prompt we were using earlier to run our commands. The same commands could be ran within this console or terminal windows. This part of the installation is optional. Ruby on Rails actually comes with a small SQL server built in, but if you wish to have a full MySQL server install, go ahead and go to mysql.com, download that MySQL community version, find that Windows installer as seen here. I'm downloading MySQL installer 5.5.20. We'll click download. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to skip the login process. I want to go ahead and select my mirror. I had completed downloading the installer, go ahead and double click on that download to start the MySQL installation. In a few seconds that installer window will go ahead and open up. You could do a standard install, you go ahead and select all the default options. I usually do the full installation just because I like having all my options available to me installed, but you could choose the server only option if that's all you would like. You can select all the default options, go ahead and click next. At this window I went ahead and selected the full install. At this point you're going to have to set a MySQL root password. Go ahead and select a nice secure password, add some letters number in there and don't forget a special character. Now your MySQL install is complete and now you can begin programming in Ruby on Rails. Good luck programming guys and enjoy Ruby on Rails. Hi guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be posting more tutorials. If you leave a request for a tutorial, I'll definitely try to get to that and do a tutorial on whatever you request. And also, if you want to subscribe, you'll get updates if I post any uh, new videos. And I plan to post some new videos like at least once a week. So keep watching.